In our last video, we looked at how to find the greatest common factor of any set of terms. And we, in fact, found the greatest common factor of these three terms. They were listed with commas in between. They were just separate terms. But now they've been turned into a polynomial. A polynomial is terms that have addition and subtraction between them. So we are now being asked to take that greatest common factor and use it to write this polynomial as two factors of the of the polynomial we're looking at. Uh, so our final answer will look something like this. We will have the greatest common factor, that is one factor of this polynomial, and then we'll have a set of parentheses. The other factor of this polynomial is the answer we got when we divide out the greatest common factor. So let's do that now. We will take each term, 25a cubed b squared plus 30a to the fourth plus 20a squared b to the fourth. And as I was saying before, we divide out the GCF from each term. Division and multiplication are distributive. That is why each term gets divided. Take a look over here. One of the things I like about finding GCF using the ladder method is not only does it find the GCF for you up and down the ladder here, it also gives you the answers you get when you divide each number by that GCF. So I don't have to do any mental work right now. I know that the number piece of each one of these terms is right there. So the number piece, when it's div 25 is divided by 5, is 5. The number answer, when that term with the 30 is divided by 5, is 6, pulling from right there. And the answer, when the 20 was divided by 5, is 4. So it's really nice we don't have to do that work twice. We did it once, we just used the answers we got. Now it's time for us to find out what the answer is when we divide out the letters. So there's no B term down here. The B's are not going to be divided, but the A's are. And you learned how to divide the same bases with different powers in your last section. We simply take the top power and subtract the bottom power. So a3 minus 2 is a1. a1 is the same as just a. So that is our answer. And we include that b squared. All right. 30 divided by 5 with 6. a4 divided by a2. We do the same thing. Top power minus bottom power. All right, so we have 6a squared. There is no b in there, so we don't have to worry about that. And then our last one, a2 over a2. We know that any number, no matter what it is, divided by itself is 1. This is a good opportunity to look and see where that zero uh, zero power rule came from. Top number, top power minus bottom power equals a to the zero. And that is it. The definition of any number to the zero power is 1. So this is 4 times 1. And then we have that b to the 4. We don't leave that 4 times 1 times b to the 4 that way. So let's clean it up a little bit. We have our 5a squared times 5ab squared plus 6a squared plus 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times b to the 4 is 4b to the 4th power. That is our final answer if we were asked to 
factor out the greatest common factor.